Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Picture It, Sicily, Pussycat, and Hi, It's Me, Stan. And I'll be starting off with Miltique's Formula 2, and here is Brave's Diva, Picture It, Sicily, and Pussycat. And these are from her um, Thanks for Being a Friend collection. And the last one, this pink, is Hi, it, It's Me, Stan. And I've topped it off with some Posh Top Coat. And I'm also going to have to use my latex today. So I've just got a little, you know, candle holder with some room temperature water in it. Nothing special, nothing fancy. And I'm just going to build up my bullseye using those three polishes. And these water marble like a dream. I knew they would. No guesswork involved. Um, I didn't have to do any testing or anything. Tara's uh, creams from Brave Steva are just amazing for water marbling and you know if you're having trouble with water marbling and really really want to do it you might want to go check out some of her polishes and pick up a couple of creams to play with um, they, they're just fantastic um, but here we go we've got our bullseye built up and I'm moving the bottle so I don't knock them over and I'm just gonna do a flower petal design today just kinda thought I would keep it simple and I will be putting the water marble design on two nails today on each hand. And I think I only show doing one hand, but I ended up, you know, I have the same manicure on both hands. And that's what I ended up with. But these are water marble and really nicely. I'm not having any trouble with drag or pull or bleeding or anything. It's just working out lovely. Now that my design's all figured out, or traced out, designed out, we're going to dip this finger. Ta-da! And I've really been wanting to play with these. I've been wanting to do this water marble. I'd seen it in my head, I guess, back when I got the collection. Um, and I did play with some of them then, but I wanted to play with these three in particular. So... And now I'm going to take my little water marble tool and I'm going to go around and break that seal from the paint um, and my latex so that I don't remove any of the water marble design off of my nail when I go to remove the latex. You can use a toothpick, an orange wood stick, just whatever you got handy. And I'm using my tweezers to remove this latex. And we've talked about this. I do the pull, break it, snap it, peel it off method. Here we go. We're going to do another one. Put my first drop in and run my toothpick around the cup to make it spread all the way to the edge. And then start building another bullseye. Just look how fantastic that looks. Shoom. It's just mesmerizing for me. I love water marbling. And I do apologize for this one being late this week, but we just, you know, been trying to get sick and uh, just kind of got a little mixed up on my scheduling so but you're still getting one this week because <laughs> I did it here we go gonna draw this design in again and this was the first real design that I ever learned how to do and I had lots and lots of little flower petal manis it's a really good design though I guess it's worthy of being used over and over. I mean, because there, there are limitations to what you can do with water marble as far as design goes. You can do something very organic and just have, you know, very swishy, swirly looking things. And I might do one of those here soon. Um, but if you want, like, you know, something that kind of resembles each other on each nail, there's, there's only so much you can really do with that water. So, and here we go. And once again, I'm going to run around the edge and break that seal. There's my handy dandy tweezers that are covered in nail polish. <laughs> so there we go. And we're going to go in with our cleanup brush and do a little bit of tidying up before we top coat. Just kind of going around. Try not to remove too much off of the nail because I have done that before. Got all happy with the cleanup and messed up my design. Just 
But I really enjoyed this one, and I hope you did too. I did end up wearing this manicure on both hands for five days, so that tells you how much I really, really loved it. Uh, you know, I love water marble manis, and this one was no different. I loved it. So we're going to top this off with some posh top coat. Whoops, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I did not use posh. I used the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat again. And I really, really do like that top coat. I am going to have to compare it and see how quickly it dries compared to Posh and Shush. But I do like it. It's a good one. So there we go. There's my final manicure. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.